Cindy Williams was removed as Shirley. Given Laverne and Shirley's title, getting rid of either Laverne or Shirley would seem nonsensical. Yet this is exactly what happened towards the end of the once popular Happy Days spinoff. After being made to work on the show throughout her pregnancy, including on her due date, Cindy Williams sued producers for $20 million. Consequently, Laverne and Shirley's final episodes simply feature Laverne by herself, ruining the entire concept of the series in the process. Cast as Robert California on The Office. As Michael Scott, Steve Carell was the beating heart of The Office, to the point to where many questioned how the iconic TV comedy could continue after he decided to leave. These concerns by the decision to cast James Spader as his replacement, Robert California. Although the backlash is arguably not Spader's fault, fans were outright hostile to the character, resulting in poor reviews for The Office for season eight. While some criticism was reserved for Ed Helms and Andy Bernard, most of the negativity, unfairly or not, was aimed at Robert California. Two and a half men. Charlie Sheen was fired by Warner Brothers after public fall from grace and drug use, citing their reasonably good faith opinion that Mr. Sheen had committed felony offenses, included but not limited to furnishing of cocaine to others as part of the self-destructive lifestyle he had described. Warner Brothers also cited self-destructive conduct, difficulty to work with, and inflammatory comments. These included calling co-creator Chuck Lorre a stupid, stupid little man. His character was killed off and Aston Kutcher took over the lead role on the show. At the time, Sheen was the highest paid actor on TV. Kevin Spacey was fired from House of Cards for sexual assault allegations. Spacey was fired from his hit Netflix show after actor Anthony Rapp made sexual assault allegations against him. Production on the show's final season was put on hold. It ultimately aired Robin Wright as its main star. Netflix also refused to work with Spacey at any future point, scrapping his film Gore. He was later ordered to pay $31 million in damages to the production company due to the money they lost for handling productions and rewriting the season. Kevin Spacey was also fired from All the Money in the World. Spacey was fired from the film after he completed filming, due again to the same sexual assault allegations. He was replaced by Christopher Plummer, who refilmed all the scenes in nine days and was nominated for an Oscar for his performance. Gina Carano was fired from Mandalorian after comparing being a Republican to being a Jew living during the Holocaust. Carano, who had made controversial comments on social media before, was asked not to return to the Lucasfilm and Disney show and plans were scrapped for her character to have her own show. Robert Downey Jr. was fired from Ally McBeal for drug use. It actually took a few arrests for Downey Jr. to be fired from the show, but he was eventually fired in March of 2001, just after being arrested for an investigation of being under the influence of drugs, and then he checked in to rehab. And finally, Army Hammer, was fired from just about every upcoming film and show he was meant to be in. After sexual assault allegations and alleged messages where he called himself a cannibal, he was fired from Billion Dollar Spy, Shotgun Wedding, and TV series The Offer, leaving him fired from everything he was set to appear in that hadn't wrapped production yet. He was also dropped by his agency and publicist. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and share. And again, we'll see you next time, and click on one of the videos above. Thank you very much.